Hi, this is Jack Lifton, and today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Mark Chalmers, the CEO of Energy Fuels, which, in my opinion, is the single most underrated natural resource critical mineral source on the New York Stock Exchange. That's right, I said New York Stock Exchange, not, not a minor board. Uh, Mark, with that, with that introduction, let, let me, your company has two focuses right now, uh, I believe. One is uranium, in which you are, I believe, America's leading producer of uranium. And two is rare earths. Can, can you give us a synopsis of, of what's happening in, the, in, in your uranium business right now? Okay. Well, yeah, Jack, it's always a pleasure to talk about energy fuels and what we do. And really, nobody does what we do when you look at the critical elements that we're either currently producing or will produce. Uh, look, look, the uranium uh, space, uh, the fundamentals probably look better than they have uh, for, for a few decades, I, I think, with a focus on reducing carbon emissions, baseload energy, carbon-free energy. Uh, so, yeah, we're seeing uh, certainly um, in renewed interest and uh, also the focus on small modular reactors. So the uh, price uranium has come up quite dramatically. Uh, it still needs to go up more than it currently is. But the uh, I think the key thing is, is that a number of the utilities are signing long-term contracts. And, uh, you know, we didn't see that for probably a decade after Fukushima. And uh, our company has, has um, signed a, a number of uh, long-term contracts where we're uh, getting ready uh, three or four mines to go back into production, uh, perhaps as early as later this year. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it, it, it's a new, new period of time for the uranium sector and the nuclear sector as a whole. And and now, thank you. And now let's switch over to rare earths. You are, as far as I know, the only actual producing mining operation in the United States that has that has taken a a, a focus on producing rare earths. Now I I know what your program is, uh, but can can you tell us where you are in 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 producing rare earths? and what you hope to accomplish in, in, in the time frame, please. Okay. Well, um, you know, as you know, we, uh, a few years ago, uh, established a rate relationship with Kimors and started securing monocyte from Florida and Georgia, uh, which was the very beginning of our um, uh, rare earth aspirations. Uh, since that time, uh, we've been processing that material um, making a rare earth carbonate, shipping it to NEO in Estonia uh, after we extract the uranium and thorium and sending over a carbonate that's about 34% NDPR to NEO. Um, we secured the, the um, Bahia project in Brazil, heavy mineral sand project, very large project. And uh, we're moving rapidly, very rapidly with uh, separation uh, into NDPR and an S a Sumerian Plus. Uh, we're building out our, what we call our phase one uh, separation plant at the White Mesa Mill in Utah right now. It should be operational in the first quarter of uh, 2024. We're building that for around $25 million, have the capacity to produce, given enough monocyte, uh, around up to 1,000 tons of NDPR per year. So this is a facility that'll basically kind of replicates um, the, the Silmet plant in Estonia, perhaps a little bigger for $25 million. So we're really excited about that. We're also um, advancing engineering work and study on what we call phase two. Phase two could be three to 4,000 tons of NDPR that will be um, designed and constructed as required as we secure additional monocyte feed. But between those two facilities, uh, you know, we, we would be approaching sort of the capacity of Linus in due course and given enough feed. Uh, I, I'm going to put you on the spot here. and You, you may take the Fifth Amendment. Um, uh, two days ago, the United States Department of Defense announced it was 
awarding nearly $300 million to Linus to build a 5,000 ton, quote, heavy, quote, unquote, rare earth separation facility in Texas. It sounds to me like what you're saying is that that might be about $275 million too much. Now, I understand that they have a green field and they're going to have to do a lot of prep work, but uh, I, it seems to me that you are the leader now in cost containment in building rare earth separation facilities. Do you have any comment on why the Department of Defense thought it would be $300 million to do what you're going to do for $25 million? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a short answer. Is that short enough? Look, look. Yeah. Um, I I think the 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 difference for what we're doing um, is we're driving our own bus and yeah. uh, we're applying our existing infrastructure. You know, we've got this very large land private land position uh, at White Mesa uh, near Blanding. Uh, we've got the permits to do what we're doing. We've got the expertise to do what we're doing. Um, we have an SX building uh, where we're putting in this phase one uh, separation. So it's it's in the existing footprint. We are starting um, or will be starting uh, uh, piloting of our heavy separations this year in our existing laboratory. You know, the thing that's amazing is that we have the capability to do just about everything internally. We don't have to go out to outside laboratories or uh, in a lot of cases, we don't get need to go outside for a lot of expertise because we're doing it internally and from the from the pilot plant right through commercial size uh, uh, facilities, the people that are doing the piloting are also doing those other steps. So this is a unique differentiator in how energy fuels is progressing. We are not focused on government support. We would like government support at some stage, but we're building our story out to get there at commercial scale, economically, um, and, 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 and we're really going for it, Jack. Thank you, Mark. And I, I just want to add my two cents, which is what I, the reason I started this interview with the statement that you're the most underrated critical minerals resource in, in the Americas is that I sincerely believe it. And we really wish you the best of luck. And we're looking forward to you being a rare earth leader in, in this industry in North America. So we're going to come back and find out how you're progressing from time to time. Th thank you very much. Thank you, Jack. And it's my pleasure. And I'm looking forward to those, those further updates that we provide over the coming months. Um, it'll be very exciting for our, 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 our shareholders and I think for the industry as a whole.